All right, well, we got all the whole system installed. We got the new old anvil upgrade. Yeah, looks good. Master cylinders. Looks really good. Reservoirs in there. So time to set the adjusting on the proportioning valve. Yeah. Which I didn't have before with that old GM non-adjustable one. Right. So, so we're gonna do like 35, 40 miles an hour and see what, see yeah, what it does? Yeah, Mike said start around 35, 40 with it. The valve turned all the way in, so full rear brake pressure. Okay. And then we just mash on it like a child's running out in front of us. Okay. And just There's see what it does. There's a right up here, so. Okay, uh, good. Yeah. So should we try it? Yeah, let's try it. <laughs> oh yeah, you got some tire slot there somewhere. <laughs> that was rear locked up pretty good, I think. Yeah. I suppose if we, we're turning a little bit of an angle, you can feel the rear step out, but there you go. Okay. So I guess that means we got a little too much brake in the rear. Yes. So pull over and uh, stop at the school. Stop at the school. <laughs> that was good timing. <laughs> Not running over children and then we're at the school. Yeah. Okay. We gotta make sure we're safe. dropping me off for school. Yeah, we're dropping Jet off. <laughs> so, let's we'll start at the half. One. Half. Two. Half. Three. Let's do three. Yeah, three sounds better. That's good too. Alright. 35-40. And then where's the kid? Yep. Oh there. Watch him. Oh, that was a little later. That was a little better. Yeah. So we're supposed to be locking up the rear brakes right before we come to a stop instead of immediately. So that was what? Probably right in the middle. Yeah, that was probably uh, right in the middle of somewhere. The speed. Yeah. Okay, so maybe just a little more. Two, three more. I don't know. Or two yeah. more. Maybe, maybe just two, since we we're getting close. That was two full turns. Two full turns. Yeah, good car alarms. <laughs> Alright, ready? You ready? There we go. Wow. Yeah, right oh. before. And, and you killed it. it. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, you got enough? Did that feel like? That felt pretty good. Because it locked him up, but it waited until we were about to stop. So he said that you want the back ones to lock up first? You want the rear Just to lock barely. up? Yeah. Why did you it, stop me? If the fronts are locking up, then you don't have enough. Well, you were like almost stopped when it finally locked up. Uh huh. So if we went a little too far and the front started locking up, we just dial it back out a little bit. Yeah, because really the front locking up, what he said was, was like bad, because then you, you lose your steering control. Yeah, that's the main so thing. So you want the back to lock up, but not enough to spin you out. Right. You don't, you don't want the rear coming around. So yeah, we want that front to nose dive and, and not lock up. That makes sense. Well, I think we're at a good spot yeah, then. I think we're at a good spot. Right? Drive it a while and see if you like it. Heck yeah. Yeah, cool. Don't run over any kids. <laughs> if you guys haven't watched the other video yet, go check out the whole install where we tested 15 16 and 7 8 masters back to back and converted from power to manual brakes. There's a lot of good info in there too. Oh yeah, and I, I, for everybody out there, I, I swear by manual brakes. They just seem like they work so much better. We've had so many poor power brake systems come through our shop that we took them off. We've had hydro boost, the electric boost, the vacuum boost, and all of them that we've taken off, the owners like the cars better with manual brakes. They had more feel, they stopped better. Um, it makes you feel more safe and secure because it, like, it always stops, it never acts differently. Yeah, it's consistent. Because so, all those rely on the engine, or except for the electrical, which the electricals tend to fail. They, they, there's a lot of issues with those failing. 
Um, and those systems aren't really designed for a particular car because they're kind of universal. So right. um, they don't go through all the engineering like the OEM does. And then it's parts from other cars we found out. And, um, so the manual brakes just work really well. If, and you can tune them to fit any car. That's that's the beauty of it is the yeah. tuning part. They, they are tuned, so. Uh, well, yeah. I'm digging it so, so far. Way better. And if you want to see more of our content, like and subscribe and help us promote our channel and we can do more of this. Heck yeah. All right, so we just learned quite a bit of stuff just trying to get a photo of this thing with the back wheels uh, locking up before the front. And we found that since we got it tuned pretty close, that is super hard to do because either I went, to, I was trying to drive, uh, we changed the captains of the ship. Yep. Uh, so I was trying to drive and so Taylor could photograph it. Well, in doing that, we took 150 pounds out of the back seat and so we, we changed up the bias a little bit and I'm probably stabbing it, I tried stabbing it hard and I was locking all four of them up. All right, like not at first, but it eventually, I don't know, maybe three quarters to halfway from stopping, it actually locked all four up, which we caught on, we caught in the photograph. Yeah. So then I tried to be lighter and I could still couldn't do it because it would still lock all of them up. So we adjusted again and tried it and we were, we were so close that it doesn't really make, make any difference. Like it's so close to locking them all up that we just couldn't even get it on a photograph to show that it's by locking the back up. We can feel it in the car that the back is definitely grab, grabbing and making more noise but the front has so much bite because of the weight on the front that it's also smoking. So in our photographs, it looks like the, the front is actually locking up too, even though we've got it tuned down to where the back is making noise. So it's, it's very interesting. It's, it's very fine. I, I don't know, maybe if we were racing that we could actually really fine tune it, but right now we can't do that on the street. We cannot, there's, there's just that little bit in the bias of having the weight in the rear even that changed it so yeah the, the weight difference the driver difference i mean how you get into the pedal how much force you're using it all it all makes a difference which i don't yeah i wouldn't have thought it made that big of a difference yeah well, i'll give you kudos man this car's fun to drive <laughs> you're gonna have a hard time getting me out of it yeah right <laughs> at the front of the back I heard one start to slide I couldn't tell I guess maybe that's the ticket is you got to get to the you just got to drive it enough and go hard it stops enough to where you can figure out where it's going first uh-huh because you kind of have to do it in the car like I said we couldn't photograph it because it would show smoke at all four tires but yet it felt like the rear was sliding yeah the front, was, first. the front was definitely not out of control that last time we did it it was the rear that was definitely sliding. Mm -hmm. But the front had so much bite that it was it was starting to smoke, even though it wasn't losing control. Right. So we still had, in fact, it might have still been rolling on the front. But yeah, it's showing look. smoke because it's it's trying to stop that hard. Uh -huh. So that might be something we're wrong with our photograph. Is it's actually, we can't get it to, without having just like super, you know the bias being totally off that it slides the rear uh, without the front doing it yeah i think that's so if you were in like a c10 with six piston brakes front and rear like people do because they put big wheels on and they want oh, the yeah. same size brakes you for sure would have the rear end or be able to dial it out and have the rear end just lock up yes but we must be closer to the right ratio between front and rear totally. brakes that yeah you've, you've just got a you've got a good bias here yeah looks like it's it's really close that's cool. so yeah that's cool so i think we did what we needed to do we're not gonna kill any kids today <laughs> <laughs> just, just today <laughs>